Hi everyone! So today's video is aimed mostly at beginner card makers, but even if you're an advanced card maker, you still might like this video and you might learn something new. But what I'm going to show you today is how to take any size piece of cardstock, depending on you know how big or small you want your card to be, but how you can make two simple folds to create this one card fold and you won't need to do any measuring you won't need any special tools like a scoring board or anything like that and by making these folds you will be able to make at least five different style cards and today i am going to show you what those are so let's head on over to the craft table and get started okay are you ready for this it doesn't matter what size piece of cardstock you have or even if you have a pre-folded card so, I've already folded this one, but we're going to go through it together. So, take it and fold it in half, just like that. Okay, so, you know, mine's already creased, but fold it in half. Then, open it up. Then, you're going to fold it in half like that. Okay, so, all you've done is fold it in half and fold it in half, and guess what? You're done. Are you ready to go on from here? Okay. Here's one of the card folds that you can do. So I'm going to move this out of the way for a second. And what I'm going to show you is you decorate the two panels. Okay. So not just with what I have on here, but you put your paper on both panels. So you would decorate this panel and you would decorate that panel, but you would not decorate them as a whole because you need that fold right there. Okay. So after you've done that, then you can put an image of some sort on the front here and in a minute I'm going to put up some pictures of other samples but when you do that you only want to attach it to the first panel you don't want to attach it to this top one you want to attach it to this one right here so that it can stand up like this and that pops up so the card looks like this, which is absolutely beautiful, just the way it is, but then the recipient can stand it up like that. Let me move that out of the way so you can get a better look there. So it's really cool, and you know, you can decorate right down here, and then you're going to need some raised objects to make this stand up. You know, whether you, um, here, well, I'll show you here in a minute on a different card, but you know, use some foam tape under it or something, and that will hold it in place. Now, wasn't that easy? That really simple fold, you just decorate, and you add an object right there that is going to pop up. Now, let me show you a different one. By the way, I call this one a pop-up easel card, and honestly, don't know what it's called, but we're going to call it a pop-up easel card. Okay, now taking that same fold, remember, this is the fold that we had, and this is the one that you just, you know, decorated here and here and put a, you know, a little image or something on there. But now we're going to take this, flatten it out, and you are going to cut a piece of cardstock that perfectly matches the size of your card. And you are going to decorate this. You can um, print out an image and color it. You can put layers on here. You can do whatever you want to this piece, this piece right here, okay? And then when you're done, you're gonna take your card base here. You didn't have to decorate any of this. Just take it as it is. Of course, you can decorate this bottom part, but I mean, you don't have to decorate the outside because then you're gonna take that beautiful card topper that you created you are going to put glue right here. I prefer glue instead of double-sided tape, but it's up to you. But you're going to put it there. You're not going to put it up here. You're just going to put it on the bottom panel, just like you did on the other card. And this is going to attach right there. And to make it easy, once you've put the glue there, just lay it down flat and line your card up right on top like that. Make sure that it's glued down really good. And you are going to have an easel card. So let me show you an easel card. I'll grab one right here. So here we go. We have this all decorated. And actually this one is more like a pop-up 
but it's not <laughs> because it doesn't go all the way to the edges, which normally it would. But you just put something right here or right here to make it um, hold that so it doesn't just, you know, slide. So it has to be raised a little bit. And again, you have a really nice easel card, just a little bit different than this one. So one of them, you have a card topper all the way across the front. And this one, you decorate the front and you put an image to pop up. So we have an easel card and a pop-up easel card. There are two cards so far. Now let's see what else you can do with it. Okay, we're back to our, our basic card fold that we had, okay? Only this time, we're gonna take this and we're gonna fold it the other direction. Okay, so now it's going that way. Guess what guys, you just made a Z fold card. Now you can leave it just like that and then we can say that we made six cards instead of five, but I'm going to show you how to make a different kind of Z fold card, which by the way, this is really cool. You know, if the camera could get it from this angle so you can see that. But let me show you one that isn't completely put together and we're gonna put it together, together. So here's one decorated and you're going, oh, that looks horrible because that's showing. That's correct because on this particular one, I am gonna show you how to add this to the front. So it doesn't have to be a square like this. It could be a rectangle. It could be an oval, a circle, a heart. It can be anything you want it to be. And you don't even have to have the matching one underneath, even though I find that a really cool technique, okay? But what I've done is I've already put this all together. So we've decorated these panels. You don't have to decorate the outside ones because it's just gonna be closed and open like this. So we've decorated the inside and I'm going to show you how to make sure that you get that piece covered up because you don't want to just put this on all willy nilly and go, oh, look at that. It doesn't match up or, oh, it's clear over here somewhere. Well, I guess you could do that if you wanted to. But anyways, we are going to put this on there. So I'm going to grab my Beacon 3-in-1. You can use whatever you like. Now, what you want to make sure is that when you put the glue on, that it's on this half. So, I have to remember, this is the half I want it on. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to add a little bit of glue there. Bring it over here and I am going to just match it up without sticking my head in front of the camera. Okay? So, there you go. It is now all matched up perfectly. And now, this is what the front of the card looks like. And then it opens up just like that. Now, I wanted to show you the really cool die set that I used to create this. And I'm actually gonna be using it on another card as well. So hold on one second. Well, I go grab that just in case you are interested in where I got that. These are the lace frame cutting dies from In Love Arts, and it comes in this set of three, and they create these beautiful lace frames. And what is amazing is they can go inside of each other to create a different frame. And I've done that on another card you're gonna be seeing here um, in a little bit, but there's just so many possibilities with these. I think they're fabulous. And this one right here is what I used to cut that out with. And I just think that that is so pretty. So just wanted to let you know, and I'll have a link below in the description box if you are interested in these. And um, I'll also put a link below in the description box to this, not the butterfly, but these um, shimmer sheets. They are absolutely fabulous. I have been using them a lot lately. Um, let me go grab one, I'll show you real quick. 
They come like this. You get several sheets. Um, actually, you get three. And they're by Elizabeth Craft Designs. And these are just fabulous. They're mylar. And they're just so shimmery. And there's different colors. But I absolutely love using them. And I haven't used them in a while. So I just pulled them out recently and have gone a little bit crazy with it. But there you go. An absolutely beautiful card. Now let me show you another one. Okay, so far we have done three cards, or four, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> and now I'm going to show you another one. So we're going to take this exact same fold that we had for the Z fold, and we're going to stand it up like that. Now, obviously my camera isn't down at that angle, but it stands up just like that. And I'm going to show you how to do it. As you can see, this is falling over. It doesn't always, but I'm going to show you how to do this in a way that it does not fall over. So, let me grab this. So here's the card that I've made. So it looks like this. And then the recipient can open it up and stand it up just like that. And again, yep, using those Mylar shimmer sheets with more butterflies, because I've gone butterfly crazy. And again, using the lace frame cutting dies. So we have that, but it will fall over, usually once it's decorated. Sometimes I don't have that problem, but sometimes you do, and you don't ever want that to happen. So we are going to create a little easel for the back of it. And do you remember how I had said for one of those cards, you just cut a piece that's the exact same size as the front of your card? Well, it's the same thing. Whatever size your card is, you're going to cut a piece of cardstock, and you're going to fold it in half. No measuring involved. This was a scrap. I have a little couple holes right there. But no measuring involved. You just fold it in half so that it fits nicely behind your card. And you attach it. And your card will stand up beautifully just like that. So there you go. Another card fold. And you know what? While I'm talking to you, let's go ahead and attach this. And it folds up nicely to go in an envelope so this easel does not get in the way at all. So you just attach it to the back of your card so that it fits perfectly behind it. Just like that. So it touches on the bottom. And that way when the recipient gets it and opens it up, they have a beautiful card that will stand there just like that. So again, another easy card fold, decorate it however you would like. You could go crazy and add tons of um, embellishments, um, whatever you want to this. I've just been keeping it pretty simple because I happen to know that a lot of my viewers are beginners and don't have a lot of supplies. So I'm just keeping it simple to show you how beautiful a simple card can be. We're not done yet though. We have another card. Okay, back to our basic card fold that we did. So, so far, nothing has changed. You either fold it this way or that way, depending on the card you're making. But we're going to leave it folded back like the Z fold. And this time, we're going to be cutting part of it off. So, you have to know how big your card is. My card happens to be four and a fourth by five and a half. So, I want it to be four and a fourth inches square for what I'm going to be doing. And you don't have to make it square, but the one I'm going to show you, that's what I'm doing. So you're going to take it in and you're going to cut it off at one and a fourth inches. And that's going to leave you a strip down here at the bottom. And if I could do math in my head really quick, since I am the math whiz, um, I would be, let's see, that's five and a half down to four and a fourth. So I'd have an inch and a fourth. Yeah, <laughs> an inch and a fourth strip. And what are we doing with this? After we've cut that off, let me show you. I don't have it put together yet because I wanted to put it together completely with you. So let me set that aside. So here we have a square Z fold card that opens just like that other one. And 
The difference is we now have this piece that we've cut off. Now, by the way, don't cut that off until your card is folded. So make sure that your card is folded already. You can open it up to cut it off, but make sure you already have those folds in there. And let me show you why. Because you're gonna need those folds on this piece. So when you cut it off, I'm gonna bring it over here. When you cut it off, it was like this. And now, you're going to turn it around the other way. So now the folds are opposite and we are going to attach the first one right there on that first panel and that's it. We're not going to attach it all the way across. So you only want adhesive right there on that first panel. And then this last piece, we are going to attach right back here on the back panel but we are not attaching the rest of it. And it will open and close like that. So you decorate your inside panels. You don't have to worry about decorating the outside because um, no one's gonna see it. So you decorate each panel the way you want to do it. And it's kind of good to have this panel be where your sentiment goes so that it's hidden until the card is opened up. And we are gonna get started here. So again, I'm going to grab my beacon. And I'm just going to actually put the adhesive right on there. Okay. That way I know it's only on that panel. And I'm going to lay this out. And we're going to attach it right there. Now, of course, this is glue. And even though it's quick tack, it is slipping and sliding, which is fine with me. So I am going to give that a minute, making sure I have it lined up really good. And I'm going to come over to this other end. Yep, that's sliding. Okay, you know what? I'm going to be back in, let's say, 30 seconds when that is dry. Okay, that was quick. <laughs> now I'm going to put the glue right here on the back of this one. Now you ask, why am I putting it on the back here, but I didn't there? It's because this is one long piece, and I didn't want to accidentally get it too far over and have it stick to the next panel. That's why I only added the glue to the panel instead of to this strip. But on this one, it's okay that I add it to the strip because we are actually adhering this entire section right there. So again, we've got that. I'm going to flatten this right out and lay it down because this strip obviously fits perfectly there since that's where we cut it from. Okay, now we're going to wait another 30 seconds and I'll be right back. All right, now this is ready to be finished. I am going to be adding this sweet little gorgeous girl right there. And I put some foam tape on her back. I'm really not worried about her legs. But I'm choosing to make this, you know, dimensional. And you don't have to. In fact, actually, I've added way too much down here on this strip. So when it closes, it kind of is a little bit thick. So you don't have to do that. These all just have those gems on it that makes everything pop up. But let me get my little gorgeous girl on here. Because she's just so cute. I love gorgeous girls. Actually, I'll put a link below in the description box to where you can find her as well. This is a stamped image that I've just fussy cut out. If you're not familiar with gorgeous girls, they just have the cutest stamps in the whole world. So I will be sure to put a link below where you can find her as well as where you can find those Mylar shimmer sheets and um, and the dies. So I'll be showing you, you know, where you can find these things. But here you go. And then it opens up like that and it sets nicely. And see, it'll sit up just like that. Isn't that just beautiful? And wasn't that easy? All of these are so easy because they're all from one single fold that all you had to do was take your cardstock and go like this. Go, oh, look at that. Let's fold it in half and let's open it up. And then whether you choose to fold this on the outside to meet over, I find it easier to fold it on the inside to meet over. However you want to do it, all you had to do was do those two folds on any size. And when I say any size, hold on a second. Let me show you something. I mean absolutely any size. I have made 
um, and I haven't measured this, so, but I have made these for, um, oh, what do you call them? You know, little place, place thingies, name thingies. Yeah, I'll come up with the right word for it here, probably after the video's over with, while you guys are all out there laughing. Um, but, you know, just to sit on a table for a special event like Thanksgiving, so that, you know, people know where they're going to sit. You could also do it for a wedding. But there you go. Isn't that cute? And I've already cut this out. That goes on the front. And somebody's name can go there. And you can put something right here to hold it up. So when I say any size, I truly mean you can do this fold on any size. And you can create a miniature little card like that. You could do this for a tag and hang it on a you know, a package. So seriously, any size you want. And we've got five cards out of this. Six, if you count the one that didn't have anything right here, but could still open up like that. So there you go, guys. I hope that was easy enough for you. Thank you all for watching today, and I hope that you like how easy this is. Just, you know, one card fold, two little folds, and you can make so many different cards from it. So I hope this has given you plenty of ideas to keep you busy for a while. And below in the description box, I am going to have links to a couple of video tutorials and to some of the products that I used today, such as the dies I used from In Love Arts, and all of that will be below. Just click where it says show more and it'll drop down and you'll find all those links and even a link to Crafter's Castle Challenge where you can enter your creations. Happy crafting everyone. Bye-bye.